Welcome back, my global family. Check out my latest episode on my podcast, Let's Talk About It with Empress. And thank you for watching. Grand Rising family, Grand Rising man. Where should I start? I slept for almost 24 hours yesterday. This week, no, this week has been a rough week. The day that I paid rent, my house, my space was flooded, and that was the last night I slept there. So every night I have been going, packing my stuff to get it safe from all the damage that's and repairs that are being done, only to just call the shipper, think I was gonna get information for when I returned to find out that I had till today to get my whatever I wanted to send over to the Gambia um, to him into the container that I had to go back and repack everything so that it would be ready to go shipping I had to go get um, zippy ties and bags to pull the air out so that I can condense my clothes it was a lot i had to so what i did was i got the containers i did the zippy ties i sucked out the air of it i might show a video of it because right now it's just like so much is going on i don't really know if i have time to um like record but i'm gonna try yes every night i'm going to to, I'm finishing up around one, getting home around two. I missed all the bonuses. This is the weekend I would have made at least like $150 of bonuses, which I could have used. I've lost like uh, an additional $500 in income, which could have been used for my trip to Gambia and the shipping, but you know, it is what it is. I don't know what time, four, four in the morning, five in the morning. I just got myself breakfast. I'm about to get out of southeast because i don't want to pick up anyone in southeast not this morning i'm not in the mood for any drama you know most people leaving this time of morning are going to work but i just don't want to take a chance i'll probably end up coming to southeast <laughs> but anyway it's been a rough one y'all it's been rough oh my gosh it's been rough <laughs> You gotta move with a smile or you'll end up crying. But I'm like this, God bless me to be a blessing to others because I need sanctuary and I know others like me need sanctuary. So guide me to a place where I can build a sanctuary for us, by us, to heal us. All right, so I'm over here at Royal Farms, about to get my gas. So I can get on this road and pick up some needy passengers. I'm getting royal farms. Hey. Oh, I, I, let me see what I had. Cause I'm... To be happy. To be happy in my work. To be happy in my marriage. To be happy in my career, to be happy with family, friends, associates, to be happy in my home, to be happy in my community, to be happy in my city, to be happy in my country, to be happy with my intimacy, to be happy with my looks and physique, to happy to be happy with my health and sanity, to be happy in my faith and spirituality, to be happy. So, I am packing my stuff for the Gambia. Um, so I can ship it there. It's going to get there before me, but that's okay. I have people there who are going to look out for me. <sighs> I'm tired. And I still look. I still got all this to do. I'm selling my furniture. I'm selling all my furniture. 
Oh, I forgot about this. I gotta make sure I pack this too. Jeez, I almost forgot. But I'm giving this away. Um, my shoe racks. I'm not sure if I'm gonna pack them because they're small. I can think I can disassemble them. If I can disassemble them, I'm gonna take them. Like little small stuff like that, I, I'll take. Giving my lamp away. Way. I'm selling pretty much everything. I'm selling all my furniture. Um, my artwork. I'm tired, y'all. high ceilings in our, in our store. We might be able to use this ladder. I'm taking all my tools and all anything that deals with building, construction, fixing. I'm taking it. This suitcase I forgot about. I'm gonna leave it. It's not full. I can still put stuff in here. So that's gonna go on in a second. Track. We're good. It's getting done, y'all. It's crazy. I don't know how I feel about this. Don't know how I feel about it. I'm on my way to the shipper to get my first shipment over to the Gambia, which will get there before me, but that's okay. I'm doing this in baby steps, no rush. Let me come back, y'all. Grand Rising family. Uh, yeah, I had to come on here really quick and share with you my, um, interesting uh journey with the shipper now i, I just want to sh point you all to a direction to a video my sister anja africa she did a video on shipping containers please go watch that and pay its close attention if you're shipping to the gambia because i did not okay um i probably will do a live on just shipping because it is crucial so <laughs> One of the things that I seen just from a Gambian living here in America, he's a very nice man. Um, he's very trustworthy. Um, no shade to his character. I will recommend him to anyone who um, wants to use him. But, um, and I'm not going to put his name on here only because I want to share certain aspects that was concerning for me. And because I did like him, I don't want to, you know, make anyone feel away about him. But if you want to know who I use, feel free, contact me, whatever. So one of the things that, you know, what, this whole thing of me shipping my things was just was not planned first. Let me let you know that it was not planned. So I had no intention on shipping till maybe in December, you know, start packing, kind of do it like the normal way. So I called him just to get some pricing and what have you, only to find out that he was shipping yesterday, which was Sunday. And he was out, he said, can you get your stuff to me by then? Well, I'm nowhere near finished shipping. So I figured, okay, whatever I, I can pack, I'll get over to him. And I did a really good job packing. I, um, there we go. I packed my containers. I did a really good job packing. Uh, if you go to my Instagram, Global Green, Green, Green Book, or Top Icon Dish, you'll see how I did the pack. I, I drilled holes in the containers and I zip tied them shut so they wouldn't pop open. And then after I zip tied them, then I taped it, the zip ties down, and then wrapped the, um, the containers up in tape. So it was really tight. And I used that electrical tape so that it would be really um, tight and strong. Um, and then I wrote my name on it 
my phone number and my email. I did have help packing. Thank you, Mama Ayadis. Um, my girlfriend, Teresa, she did help me move one big container, but she had work to do, so I had to do the rest by myself. Um, and I'll do a separate video. I'll, I'll probably do a live stream just on um, sharing on how to pack and, you know, and what I did and what have you. But anyway, so I get all the stuff in. I send my ladder. I wrote my name on my ladder. You know, I wrote my name on everything. All my containers are super tight, you know, whatever. So I get there and I get there late. I'm actually literally the last person to get my stuff in these containers. These containers are huge. You know, like those trucks you see on the highway. Them big, it's big like that, right? Them shipping containers. You know, people live in them. They're huge. It was so packed that I was like, how is he going to get my stuff in it? That's how packed it was. And so when we get there, I'm thinking in my head, you know, normal process. And this is a Gambian living in America. So he has a lot of American ways because he lived here long enough, I would think. I'm thinking we would get there. We would write things down, you know, get the billing, how much everything costs. In my head, I'm like screaming, no, 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 no. But when I get there, he immediately, all right, all right, let's get this. He started pulling stuff off the truck, and my mind was looking like this. <laughs> I was going, wait a minute, what's, what do I have? What do I have? I mean, he moved so quickly, y'all. And I managed to get a picture, but so I know how many containers I bought. <laughs> I'm doing a lot. I know I had shipped a suitcase. I know I had shipped um, a long, flat container and my ladder. I've been going to bed every night at 1, 2, 3 in the morning, getting up to be at work by 8.30. I'm mentally just like not sharp. So I was like, there's no way this is going to get on it. It's just like no space. Don't do that. But I heard he's really trustworthy and he's safe and you will get your stuff and he's really good. But what if you got someone who isn't really good, right? Hold on. So he's really good. And I, and I was guaranteed, you're going to get your stuff. I mean, I got all the different scenarios. So that took a lot of stress. But I, and, and it gave me stress because I was like, I'm, I'm, okay, this is where my stress level came in. I'm like, is everyone in Gambia like this? <laughs> Am I ready for this? Do I want to go here? Am I going to be able to handle that kind of energy? Because I'm a, I, I, I'm, I'm fast paced with order, if that makes sense. I need order. I need to be efficient. I need to make sure everything is in a row. But I, I don't understand doing things fast in chaos, and that felt, felt that felt a little chaotic for me. So, and I know. Um, it must work because he, I haven't heard any complaints about him and you know and my I, I I was told he was highly recommended but I'm like I realize now what I'm kind of going into so I might have to mentally prepare myself and I can't allow myself to fall into um, other people's energy and make sure that they slow down to my energy so that I can understand what is happening because at, and then when he we were because <laughs> what happened was after everything was on the bags and I, I managed to get a couple of pictures then we came to the pricing and I was like I think I didn't know what I had and we had a guess so I don't even know if I was overcharged or undercharged for what I shipped because I thought I had one thing and he was like, no, that's not that. And then we went online and looked to see what it looked like and guesstimated. So I'm shipped on a guesstimation. So that's totally my fault. That had me stressed out as well. So um, I know the next time when I ship it, I'm going to label my box and I'm going to um, make sure I write down on a separate sheet of paper for my records. Box one of two was a 14 by 14 or whatever the dump diameters are. And I can have a better pricing because my daughter's going to be shipping to me and my son is anal as heck. 
so I can't be stressing them out. So that was my um, lesson with the shipper, my first lesson, and it, it did have me up last night. I was having anxiety. I am doing things under duress, stress, sleep deprivation. I can't wait to get to um, Gambia. I'm going to sleep for two days straight. I'm going to turn off all the electronics. I'm going to each, uh, text my children, say I'm here, and I'm going to sleep and sleep and sleep and sleep. So I did a little bit of research. I called the clinic. So in Dulles, they have a clinic inside the airport and a lot of the major airports that do international flights if you look on this website called express check which is x p r e s c h e c k express check you go on there or you can go to whatever international airport go to their website and they'll also send you a link but they have like the different tests the pcr rapid test the pcr regular test so when I called, I was like, is this the test for my international flight? So when I take this test, it will be good and it will come back before my flight. She was like, yes, it comes back in like 60 minutes. But guess this is the kicker. It is $250. So I made my appointment at 8 a.m. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go take my test, take my luggage up there check in after my test results come back check in my luggage and then um just kind of chill for the day I'm sister and aishi because she's going to take me and just do some sister bonding before i go uh yeah it's it's interesting when i get there i'm going to be meeting my other sister and my business partner um which i'm super excited about um and we're going to have our grand opening so it's just a lot happening i'm really tired like tonight i was supposed to go to my house and try to pack some more stuff up from the flooding and um try to organize some things for packing and i'm just like too tired so i'm going to my sister-in-law i have a lot of my clothes that i'm gonna pack um take with me over there um, because I, my head is still reeling about how I sent my stuff to Gambia. I'm like, oh my God, but I can't stress that. So what I'm going to do is I think I have a, I don't know, the luggage set. Uh, I'm going to figure it out. So I'll be taking my backpack, my bags. Um, I, when I go to, I'm going to have to grab my luggage. I'm going to have to grab some shoes. Um, I did not get my shoes that I wanted because I wanted to get a pair of Birkenstock because, you know, I have um, plantar fasciitis, but that's not going to work out. So we'll just see how it goes. Um, and I'll just kind of share you all the process and the journey that I'm going through. Also, I almost forgot, you have to go online, make your appointment for that day. You got, Make sure you give yourself enough time. Like my flight is like around, I don't know, six or ten or something's really late at night so i made it at 8 a.m so i can just make sure i had it so once i'm on the plane i'm good right and um and then once you make your appointment if you're not already part of their register i guess if you haven't you know done it before they send you a registration form where you got to sign up through their portal and um, you pretty much sign your life away. They want you to sign everything away. I'm like, it was HIPAA and all this. I was like, wow, they are really trying to take all your rights away. That's all I gotta say in order to just travel. And I just have to give it to Allah about everything, my finances, my car, just everything. I just have to give it to Allah. For your support make sure you subscribe to our channel 1200 we're trying to get there y'all
until um, next time.